Hello, everyone. Hello, welcome. Welcome to tea time. Cheers for tea, tea time. Cheers. It might be too hot. Mine's fine. Hmm. All right. I've got a wild. Is that what it's called? No, excuse me. The, the company that make it is called Wild Heart, but I'm drinking uh, Crimson, as in red, Crimson Maple, hmm. uh, which was a Christmas gift. And this one is really yummy. It's uh, got pine needles, sweet grass, sage, I'm not sure how to pronounce that properly, Cylon black tea, purple cornflower, organic maple syrup. And those are all Canadian crafted uh, ingredients in here. This is a really good one. It's, uh, so the maple syrup makes it a bit sweet, but it's um, it's it's a nice it's a nice flavor. What have nice. you got today? Um, I am just drinking some peppermint tea today. Organic peppermint tea. Sometimes I just wanted something a little plain and simple. But um, you know, this really inspire me. Inspires me. I don't know if I so. told you or not, but I think I did tell you. Um, I really want to uh, create like kind of like a tea garden uh, this yes, this summer. Yeah. yeah. So um, one of those things is that I'm hopeful to not have to buy peppermint tea um, anymore, but I will have my own organic peppermint tea, which I will harvest and dry and uh, do a, a loose leaf tea that way. So yeah. Yes be fun mm -hmm, mm -hmm. new adventure try something different yes yes so what else have you been up to well uh it's been very cold as as you would mm -hmm. know if you're local and i'm sure at the time you're recording here it's yes it's very cold but yes. uh yeah we've done some oh, minimal outdoor uh activity we go for our daily walks but yeah the, the we've got a pond on the property so we've been over the kids have been out skating uh, often I have yeah. been, been out a couple of times and skated a couple of times with them, but uh, I don't skate nearly as long as they do. They're uh, far more resilient to the cold. So we've been doing a bit of that. Uh, and I also uh, just recorded a, a new class, a new beginner strength class for mm. uh, we, we were creating or have created and it's just just come live a new channel on our online on demand uh, platform on our website with uh, beginner essentials uh, workouts that is essential beginner workouts so yeah I recorded a new strength class for that so it's just shorter in time a little more simplistic not too intense obviously for a beginner mm -hmm. um, so I just recorded that and well thought about recorded it and got that up but uh, yeah I've been working away at that and then yourself um similar so I did a beginner dance class so that is um, yeah, I also um, worked on music and choreographing and, and um, putting that up as well. So that's fun. I'm glad that we can offer that. It's got lots of variety too. So there's dancing, there's strength training, there's stretching, uh, there's uh, some flowing meditation. Um, yeah, so good. What's in, what else is in there? Yeah. Yeah, we put, we put uh, seven. Can I say that? Yeah, we've yeah. got seven workouts in there, basically with the idea of you, you could have a different workout for every day of the week if you were to participate in that. And, and a variety of classes, as Trisha is saying, just so you can you know find something that suits your needs for that day. So yeah, there's strength, uh, dance, dynamic stretch, a gentle yoga, flowing meditation, energy medicine routine, and a stretch and relax routine. Yeah. So you got a little of everything in there. Which is uh, next. And yeah. then there is an eighth video which just describes how to do the energy medicine routine. But, the, but through those seven, yeah, you've got a little of everything. You can have something more intense, something relaxing. You can mix and match. Mm -hmm. uh, you can double it up, right? If you want something more intense, you could do the, like, for example, you could do the strength class back to back and do two, basically run through once, rewind it, watch it again, do a second set of everything. So you can make it a little more challenging as you improve. But if you're new, new and you want to just get your body moving for all those benefits, that's a real good one for you. Yeah. And it's, and it's on sale this week. Oh yeah. It's on sale. That's, uh, normally the, our channels are 35 for a month subscription. This one's on sale just this week until Monday, next Monday uh, and Sunday night, uh, mm -hmm. January 16. Uh, so it's on for 25 to get $10 off for a month, month subscription. Yeah. So that one's fun. And we're excited, uh, really hoping that some new people will be brave enough to give it a go and try out something new. Uh, and yeah, we, um, 
yeah, I'll put a link down in the uh, in the description mm -hmm. so you can you can go there. Um, the other thing that I've been working on is that I launched my 10 day reset, mm -hmm. um, which is a program that I do four times a year. So that one started in January. We got lots of people joining. So that was uh, yeah, that's exciting. Always to get uh, on board with a reset for the new year. Um, and then after the reset, I'm going to be launching my six week um, metabolic uh, health program. So nice. metabolic research. Uh, reset program so that is what i'm currently working on as well i have not been skating i think i last year i decided i was going to not skate anymore maybe i feel like i made that decision last year because wow. i don't know i just felt like i was uh it's pond skating right so there's danger yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, so i have fun. i have not been i have not been skating and foster's using my skates so that's the uh that's the challenge there but it's been great for the kids especially because um uh, because here in Ontario the kids are doing online learning so it's good that you know the school day is done and they head outside and they and they skate for an hour or so which is yeah, yeah. lovely and they love it depend even on these like with these colder temperatures they absolutely yeah, it's a love bit, it it's a bit covered in so the wind through there isn't as as uh biting as as the open fields are so yeah 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 i mean they're out there so on a day like today as we're recording it's very sunny outside so yeah they're gonna get some of that vitamin d they're getting the outside the exposure mm -hmm. to vitamin d and the fresh air and they're moving they're getting their lymph systems mm -hmm. pumping yeah you can almost watch like yeah if they've gone through school and like things haven't gone so smoothly which tends to happen right there's a bit of err and uh tension built up in in their bodies and minds you can see that and then they go skate and they come back and you're like Oh my god it's a whole new kid it's a whole, new kid. Yeah. <laughs> a whole different energy level yeah. right yeah so lesson for everybody right get outside despite the cold um maybe get a walk get some fresh air it'll do it do it does the body good it does yeah we can see that firsthand mm -hmm. so the other thing we wanted to share with you today mm -hmm. is that you know we did get books over christmas as well so mm -hmm. uh we wanted to share our fun a couple of our fun books so why don't you go first, you go first. Share. okay i got a book uh this one is called called the quest of rose uh so this one is going to be a trilogy it's a brand new book from 2021 uh the authors are Annalia smithsman and jean houston i don't know if you know who jean houston is dr jean houston but if you want to look her up she's uh, quite an amazing woman i think she's like i want to say 84 but you, if you see her you'd never know she's just uh, an amazing woman anyway <laughs> the book the the quest of rose is about this it's a fictional story um, basically about uh, enlightenment or or that road to enlightenment, basically. So this this I'm only just barely in into the book, but uh, I got a good sense of what it's going to be like. So Rose is just a young a young woman, like in her early twenties, and uh, has a near death experience. And in that, you know, the, you know, you could, the the nurses and the doctors are like ready to restart her heart as she as her heart stops and her breathing stops. But then in in what she's going through right you just experience that she's seeing life in a whole new way or potentially seeing life in a whole new way um and is that what you mean by enlightenment well i i don't know if enlightenment is the is the best description mm -hmm. of that how about let's say an, an evolution okay uh and that's the uh, as the title is the of the trilogy is future humans meaning yeah i think evolution is a better description of that mm -hmm. of how humanity uh potentially can evolve um into something great or something more and the potential we all have the potential within us so she's just basically come out of out of uh this near-death experience and is kind of sorting this out what she's experienced and seen and felt and saw um but the biggest thing she's just learning is is uh she had this experience of a butterfly or a caterpillar going into a cocoon and then coming out of the cocoon and there's metamorphosis that has this evolution or this change and and coming out as this something different something mm. more evolved or beautiful and seeing that as herself going through this change where her life was good, uh, but but this thing, uh, she actually got COVID in the book. That's what the 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 uh, the book is written that she's uh, gotten COVID and uh, and that was a part of her cause of almost dying, and she lives through that. But she's kind of looking at it as the 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 virus being a catalyst to create an evolution to something great or something more. Uh, so totally different take on it, but it's quite neat, quite interesting. Um, and I'm only partway in, but uh, so it's supposed to be like a bit of a 
uh, I don't know, almost interactive. You're reading to get the story out of it, but they're also in, in the introduction, they're encouraging you as the reader to pay attention to these snippets or keys, they call them to maybe open up yourself to something more oh, I in see. preparation hmm. for you that you can take in some of this and maybe you can become a butterfly too. Neat. Yeah. That's actually sounds interesting to me. I may, <laughs> I may read it. It's uh, we have different tastes, obviously. Yes, so, but, uh, but no, that does sound very. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds very. Interesting. I believe I believe mm -hmm. book two is scheduled for Marchish of uh, twenty twenty two. So mm -hmm. it uh, easy be... is uh, easy read. Well, like, so far, so I'm far like you? I say, I'm only about twenty pages mm -hmm. in, but yes, it's been good. Yeah. And then I see your book there. Do you want to share it? <laughs> yes. So um, I got this recommendation from a friend. And uh, I had always uh, seen it on her uh, kitchen table and I'd always go and uh, leaf through it and I snapped a couple of pictures of some recipes. So I asked for it for Christmas. So it's called the Zero Waste Chef. Uh, and basically just, you know, kind of this, um, what I'm going towards is just having less waste. That's why I want to have my own tea garden. So I don't have a box and I don't have these packages. So trying to get to less waste and reusing everything in, a, in our, um, that we have. Um, so this is, this is really cool. It's right up my, my alley. So there's, um, a section in, in the front that just talks about the environmental impact um, and how we can help our environment by having less waste. Uh, um, I mean, we all know this stuff, right? But it's always good to have the reminder like, yes, I should do this. I should do this. And I can recycle this and I can compost that. So um, just being aware of having less waste. And then there's some great recipes, you know, my love of uh, sourdough. So this um, has the base of uh, their sourdough uh, recipes in here, sourdough pancakes, sourdough crackers lots of fermentation um, uh, recipes as well, which is good. You can ferment a lot of uh, vegetables and fruits in order to uh, preserve them a little bit longer. So again, to that zero, uh, zero waste chef. So um, I did start- Can to I ask yes. both that before you jump and you wanna share that too, but does the book offer any tips on how to minimize waste? Yes, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, for composting or whatever, yeah. other than just through cooking, but it, it does offer tips yes. as well. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. yeah, just have tips as well. Um, so the other thing I started to do this week, which is a recipe in this book is uh, make a ginger bug. So this is basically ginger, chopped, gin, it's a ginger bug. B-U-G, okay. B-U-G. So this is chopped ginger, as you can see, it has to be organic ginger because um, what I'm doing is I'm fermenting the ginger. So I'm starting to ferment this liquid in here and then I can use this fermented liquid to ferment other drinks, other teas. So kind of like a kombucha, only with a, with a ginger hit to it. This is also the beginning process to make ginger beer. So if you ferment things long enough, it's, it turns into alcohol. So um, I, I don't know, I may do that. Who knows? We'll see. But um, I, this idea of uh, using ginger. Oh, yeah. So I want to say it has to be organic ginger because if it's not organic ginger um, and it's not from Canada, what can happen is it can get um, go through some scanning systems and be radiated. Right. Right. You're crossing right. borders. Uh, yeah. If you're unaware, that often happens with many products as they cross borders from one country to another. They become irradiated. Mm, they exactly. zap, zap it, and to uh, get rid of all the bugs and all that stuff. But but at the same time, you lose a lot of you lose a lot of benefits. quality and good energy and nutrition out of the products. Yes. So, maybe so you can get local better. Yeah, local better, and then uh, organic as well. So you don't so you get those benefits. So it has to be organic ginger. So you chop tablespoon of uh, organic ginger every day with a tablespoon of um, cane, organic cane sugar in water. And you might be like, oh, sugar, like what are you doing having sugar? But sugar um, is needed to feed the, um, the bacteria in the yeast the to ferment it. So when this is so all- it's eating some of the sugars being used It's up. eating the sugar. So when this is done, you're really not gonna have any, the only sugar that's gonna be um, in the drink that you make is going to be the sugar that you add at, the at that time of processing. It's not going to be um, from, from this. So anyway, mm -hmm. only five days. So I'm on day four. It's day four now. Day four, day five is tomorrow. And then I can do something with this liquid. So anyway, I'll keep you posted sure. on uh, what's that. So I'm, I'm hopeful to have, um, yeah, some fizzy drinks. Cool. Yeah, maybe over the weekend. We'll see. Um, yeah, so I sent Jeff on a hunt yesterday to find some bottles, glass bottles uh, with uh, the tops on them. Right. Uh, reusable glass bottles so we can pour our 
ginger drink in there and and have that fermented uh yeah have that fermented drink which is good for gut health and overall health in general so anyway it's been a great book so far cool mm -hmm, mm -hmm. did you want to i don't know if you i know we talked about our tea but your mug is also a new that's not a christmas gift <laughs> that's no. a post christmas I gift bought it for it's a cool mug it's a I cool just, little bug yeah. i like it so mm -hmm. i didn't I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah, I guess if you're, yeah, it is on both sides. So yes. It's all I like it. Anyway. Um, so yeah, we also want to talk about uh, going back to uh, self-love, like yes. approaching uh, everything you do. Ideally, you you come from a loving place for yourself first. We talked about a lot of this in the last, last week's video, but mm -hmm. uh, this week we were want to approach more um, if you are, uh, whatever choices or reactions you're, you're making for yourself based on on choices you've made are you then still loving yourself for the choices you've made for example uh yeah we were if you're out having a party uh, invited to visit with someone and maybe you indulged in something extra right whether it's two or three pieces of dessert or you had a whole bunch of wine and that wasn't maybe on your maybe it wasn't something you're planning on doing but you did do it and then let's say that's on the weekend and then, then monday morning you're like you go almost uh completely the other way and you make choices to whatever it is like i'm not going to eat anything i'm going to detox or i'm going to work out really hard and push myself or force myself to get rid of or burn off or work off some of that stuff so is that is that choice out of love or is that a choice out of your almost punishing yourself or or you know harming yourself self-harm almost for the choices you made uh, so I guess the point we're trying to say is not to is to make your decisions from from a place of love. If you, you know, accepting maybe what that scenario maybe was just maybe it was just a moment where, hey, I made a decision to have a little extra wine and I love myself anyway, mm -hmm. even though I drank more than I wanted to, it's still it's OK. And I don't have to force yourself or push yourself or punish yourself for having done so. Rather, you can just accept that I chose to, and that's okay, and and move on from from that state of mind. Rather than in because if you if you're in that space or place where you're subconsciously punishing yourself, you maybe not saying it like I'm going to punish myself. I have to go do a boot camp workout to to get over that, but your body's realizing this is this is the, what you're conditioning in there. I do this, and now I have to push hard and, and put more stress and more load on my body versus the, the uh, if I relate this to the tapping EFT tapping that setup statement of even though so it's even though I drank the extra glasses yes. of wine that's wonderful I completely and deeply love accept people. myself love or love myself, myself. Yeah. or it's okay mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and go from that point and mm -hmm. then sure maybe maybe then you go and even though I did that, I still want to do a boot camp workout. Or even though I did that, I just want to do a walk today. Or even though I did that, I want to sleep in today, <laughs> whatever it might be. But that coming from, from a place of love is where we're getting at. Do you have anything to add in that or around that, Trish? Yeah, I was um, saying the same thing. Every health choice you make as we are on this uh, health journey, um, the choice you make, is it is it for self-love or is it for self-harm and mm -hmm. um and thinking about that and sometimes in the nutrition world we can get caught up in this this diet culture right to be a certain weight and um i try not to focus on weight i've tried to change all of my titles of my program so it's not um, focusing on weight, it's more focusing on your health, uh, mm -hmm. focusing on your metabolic health, your overall health. Um, I mean, we, we know when we, uh, when we indulge and maybe we we gain weight we want to we want to lose that weight i don't want you to lose that weight so that you look good in a bikini i want you to lose that weight because we know that that extra weight is putting extra pressure on your heart and it's putting extra pressure um on your um Blood on your hormones, your hormones and and all of that stuff so um i want you to be at a healthy spot so um for those reasons, not because not because of um, this this idea of self harm, and yeah, go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say to yeah to not come from that from that space or place of vanity first, right? It, as a result of your your respecting honoring yourself, uh, 
that you're likely going to get those results and look yes. better in a bikini mm -hmm. and that's fine as the end result but if that if you go in with that uh from that perspective again it's it's maybe not a, a holistic healthy full circle approach you're just that one one spot is that what you're yeah is that what you're getting at yeah yeah and i it's not to say you can't get in a bikini no it, absolutely you can but i really want the focus on um i, I mean you I think intuition, like our, using our intuition, we know ourselves when we don't feel our best mm -hmm. and uh, we want to make changes so that we feel, we feel better. And sometimes we just put a label of weight loss on it, but maybe because we don't have other labels to put on it, that's why we're, we're kind of stuck and we just go, yeah, we want weight loss, but really like, I want to reduce the puffiness. I want to reduce the achiness. I want to improve how my skin looks. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, you know, I don't know, coming from a, a, a point of, of that improving health in, in, instead is uh, yeah, kind of what I'm, what I'm getting at. The other thing I wanted to say too, is like, you know, if you are uh, like, we can abuse this with nutrition in terms of the way that we eat. Sometimes we just eat salad, 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 salad. All we're eating is salad because we want to achieve something. And uh, is that coming from a place of self-love or is that coming from a place of self-harm? Like when we're just eating salad all the time and it's just green lettuce, we are not getting all the nutrients we need. So that is not coming from a place of self, self-love that's coming from uh, self-harm uh, really. So making sure that that is, it's, it's balanced and maybe it's going to be more calories, but you know, you're going to get the nutrition that your body needs in order to be healthy and perform its best. Yeah. And that could, I would think that that could be um, subconsciously someone in that state could just subconsciously think they're doing the best for themselves, but not, um, I guess, be convinced that only eating salad is, is the best option. Um, but this is where we look at, I guess, all of our programming from a holistic approach that it's not just one, one aspect. You want the whole in there mm -hmm. and that what's good for my mind, body, spirit, soul, all of those things as well. So yeah, people can get caught in that, in that space or that rut or that spot, but, um, and the same with exercise yeah. as you had mentioned before, right? Like, um, I'm just gonna, everything, as long as I exercise really hard Monday to Friday or Saturday and Sunday, whatever it is, then all of these other ha bad habits mm -hmm. or the yeah things that I've done in the week go away. And it, it's a, like almost like a form of punishment to, to make up for that lack of balance. So yeah what we really want is just balance, like balance. just balance yeah. every, every day. And also like I encourage you to go aim for balance, aim for balance. And just know that this is a journey. You can't, it's not going to, nothing's going to happen in two days. Like, uh, you know, you order something from Amazon and it comes in two days. I saw a meme about that. <laughs> That's not how it changed. You're, you can't order health and get it in two days. Yes. No, no I guess not. That's, that's not how change happens. So just uh, be along for the journey and enjoy the journey and be, and have lots of gratitude for the journey that you're on and everything that you're doing. Uh, because it takes a lot to make changes in and, and make new habits that you, you said that word Trish gratitude and that if you, if you couple, if you can couple that idea of gratitude with love, then that makes things a lot easier. Let's go back to that example and say, well, I'm grateful. I had the extra wine on the weekend mm -hmm. because it was fun and I had great time with my yeah. friends and, and I really, I'm grateful that I got to really have a, let loose for that amount of time mm -hmm. and, and look at it from that perspective that you're grateful for the experience then it, then it changes it totally. Right. You don't mm -hmm. feel like, Oh my gosh, I got to make up for it. No, I, I just, I was grateful for that moment. It's in the past now. And today I'm doing something else that yeah. I'm going to be grateful for. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that's, that's what, you know, I know I took that lesson a lot over uh, the holidays, visiting with family and celebrating, like I was so grateful for that time together mm -hmm. with family. Um, I, I didn't even let any of that other stuff kind of crossed my mind because I was just so grateful for that opportunity yeah. to have time together. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that was what we wanted to talk about today was more on just loving yourself, but not taking it to uh, an extreme and finding, finding that, that balance and self-love for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll see you again next week with uh, more tea and more fun. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> have a good week. Bye. Take care. Cheers. Bye.